Morning, everybody. How we doing this morning? Let's see if the babies are awake. Come here, Easton. Easton, come here. Check your babies. Are they in there? Hmm? What are you doing there, chick chicks? How are you? Yeah, we got, uh, as you've seen, we got four babies. It's Saturday morning. I just got up. Come on, buddy. There you go. There's the bike. Uh, pretty much rode the bike to work back and forth all week. Whoops, it just helped me out, hit my elbow. Look at here. Sounds like we got a woodpecker. Yeah, we uh, we hit the sheets. Well, I don't know, eleven o'clock or something. I'm actually, gosh darn it, I'm actually looking. I've got a tripod for the phone, and I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> see it over there I think I might have left it at work in the truck or something I don't know I don't I don't know <laughs> it's what happens when you get old right a woodpecker just to go into town isn't he or she but today is pre-easter you'd say tomorrow's easter it's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow we i just got up i don't know 20 minutes ago I if we could find that darn woodpecker where you at That must be a hollow piece of wood. Oh, here he is. That's one of those black and white ones. I think my mother could tell me what kind of woodpecker that is. It's probably a downy woodpecker, maybe. I don't know. There's a neighbor doing chores. But I've got, uh, I've got a couple errands to run this morning. And, uh, Oh, we'll go ahead and let the big chicks out. Yeah, one thing I told Miss Linda, well, she says the chickens, chickens are laying eggs in a new spot. Our chicken house is a mess. Watch out, girls. There you go.
Yeah. It is a mess. This last winter, we got a bale of straw and uh, Hang on just a minute here. East doesn't be nice. Come on, chicka chick. Come on. Anyway, this winter we had a bale of straw in there and uh, we put some in the laying boxes and uh, there's a walk-in door where they can go in and out. And then uh, we let them free range during the day. And uh, they just tore that bale up, what was left of it. And then, uh, I've got a bunch of tree limbs to pick up. That's an old stump, of course, of a tree that I cut down. And then uh, I got a bunch of tree limbs to pick up. Got to pick up that wood. That's where an old snow blower used to sit. For a tractor that right there is a dog pen that I let Easton out if I don't want to come out with him I just turn him loose out here usually in the summertime I'll leave him out here but it's a beautiful sunrise this morning. That's what I like about getting up early is watching that sun come up. Easton, get up here. Come on. <laughs> he just heard the neighbor's dog and he's like, what's over that? What was that? Get over here. So, what are y'all going to do for Easter this year? I hope the weather's good in your area. Uh, today, I got a couple errands to run, and I'm going to start doing some cleanup. But last weekend this time, where was I? Oh, I was in Benito, Oklahoma on the bike. Had a really, really good time. Pretty windy, but I had a good time. Come on. Yesterday, I had a little mishap on the bike on the way home. And thanks to, uh, thanks to my buddy Mike, I got her picked back up. Uh, came up to a light, stoplight, and I went to turn and I, I was kind of being stupid, but it happens, you know. Uh, there was a building there on the left. You can barely see around the corner. And I went to turn. There was two vehicles coming, and they were they were hauling. And I I hit the front brakes with the wheel turned slightly to the right. Stopped real quick. Didn't get my foot down, and the bike went over on the right side. And uh, 
I went to pick up, pick it up, and I couldn't pick it up. My adrenaline was going. I, I should have stepped back, calmed down, and uh, Mike stopped and uh, helped me pick it up. So didn't hurt the bike. Just kind of, you know, it's like I told him on the way home. We were talking, and I said, uh, I said that it's not the first time it's been over, and it's not the last. That's what the the crash we call them crash bars engine guards you know stuff like that but it's 900 pounds at least you know and i do know how to pick it up you know turn around put the kickstand down leave make sure it's in gear and use your legs and your back you know you lean your back up against the seat grab two two stationary spots and then uh, lift with your legs in reverse, basically. So thanks, Mike, for helping me out. I know I already said it. And uh, we had a good ride home. Uh, one other thing. I was uh, coming up through Oklahoma, Kansas yesterday. And I think I was on the phone with Mike at that time. And there was a guy... We call him a hot shotter uh, with a flatbed hauling two uh, transit bands. And he's running 60, 50, yeah, 53 miles an hour up through there. And I, I couldn't get around him. So we finally got up to the four lane and finally got around him. And here on the way home, coming up by 35, Guess who's running up I-35? The same guy. <laughs> so I beat him to Kansas City by at least an hour, hour, hour and a half, you know. But they got a job to do, too. Oh, man, that sun's going to be nice today. What is this? I thought that was a quarter, but it's just a round piece of metal. I don't know where that came from. <sighs> Wanted to see if I could rent a rear tine tiller to till the garden up. And I don't know if it's too early to plant tomatoes yet, but we could plant some other things, I guess. So... I sold all my hay. I still, there's still what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13 bales left. 14 bales. But here's where our garden's gonna be. Again this year. <sighs> Last year we, uh, we went on our two week trip out west on the bike and the garden just went out of control. So this year I'm gonna try to lay down some weed barrier when I plant, when we plant, that way the, the weeds don't get out of control. So, Easton's out here exploring. Hey. Neighbors have a couple of calves over here. One's a Jersey, and I don't know what the other one is. It's got little horns on it. They better clip them horns before, <laughs> before they get out of control. So, well, I'll let y'all go and. Like I said, I got some stuff to do this morning. I got a couple errands to run on the bike. And uh, Miss Linda, she's still uh, looking at her eyelids. And I appreciate everybody who's recently subscribed to the channel. Um, 
my buddy Mike is organizing a ride on a Sunday, so, and that'll be on the 16th. Probably 10 or 12, 15 of us getting together on motorcycles, going for a ride and eat, going to eat, eat somewhere. And then uh, the 21st, we'll be headed to Oklahoma, or I will. Not Oklahoma, Arkansas. <laughs> I just got back from Oklahoma last weekend. But yeah, we'll be going to, I'll be going to Arkansas to uh, Eureka Springs on the 21st. And then the 22nd, we'll be over at uh, Rogers, Arkansas to, uh, that's going to be the, the start of the 120 dealership ride, the Great American Convoy. If you hashtag Great American Convoy, uh, it should come up. Adam Sandoval, he's doing a 120 dealership tour. I know I've talked to it. I probably, I probably talked about it till I was blue in the face, but uh, y'all get a chance. Uh, check out that website and uh, look at the uh, schedule that he's got. He's doing a 120 dealership tour, all lower 48 states in like 88 days or something like that. This guy is a true, he's a true American. Raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project, so. Anyway. I guess I better get busy, so. Appreciate y'all watching. Hit the thumbs up for me, please. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Good morning. Happy Easter. You know. Uh, and we will uh, we'll see you on the next one, okay? Are you hungry? You want to go eat? You want some food? Huh? Come on. Let's go eat.